Good morning, it's Tracy here. We're going to be doing an install of the crank AC vac catch can system. Uh, this is a Gen 6, a 2016 I believe, the LGX engine. And we'll get started right away here. <clears throat> First thing is going to need a Torx bit to take off the screw on this side. You're going to remove the stock oil fill cap. <clears throat> We're going to remove the cover. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to pinch this and disconnect this same thing to be putting this back on so we're going to push the release in you're going to lubricate this a little and stick it in there so that it is going to stay <clears throat> we're going to pry these out These are a one-way valve that we're going to be drilling out so that the air can flow between both of the valve covers. There we go. And we're going to take a quarter inch drill bit. We're just going to go down in the center. Make sure you don't drill yourself. You're just going to drill through. Make sure you blow out any debris. Seat them back into place. And we're going to be snapping this back on. Again, this is going to be plugged here. And then we're also going to plug this one right here. Next we're going to take flat blade screwdriver. We're going to take this loose. In this case, the sound symposer is staying on. Just going to pry that clamp loose, and this will pull out. And this now is the entire PCV system on these. They have deleted the intake manifold vacuum, so there's only passive evacuation taking place and that's at higher RPMs so we want this to evacuate at all times so this is going to go to the center so you can take and force this in we do include a tap so you can tap it if you'd like it's a quarter NPT. You're going to use this in two places. It's going to be used only go about halfway up the tap. 
so you get a nice leak-free seal. And then this will feed to the center of the catch can. We're going to have this so it's going to be underneath the cover like it was. And it's simply the line will go into here. We're going to convert this into one of the outlets. And let's see. I need this to be 3 a You want to pause it a minute? Okay, so simply going to go in there. No clamp is needed. It's never going to have pressure on it, only suction. So we're also going to uh, now take a 15 millimeter. You're going to go down to the M8 or M10 bolt that ground has one ground wire on it. Make sure that ground doesn't get displaced. Remove it. Careful not to drop it. This is what the bracket looks like. It's a little piece of rubber hose there. I'm just going to bolt it into that single bolt. It's not going to move. Make sure that this protective shield is pulled up as well. We don't want that to chafe. Now the brackets in there, we're going to see what height we want the can at. And we're going to go about halfway up. So we're going to place the flat blade screwdriver into the slot on the clamp so we don't scratch and we're going to slide it about halfway up we're going to look and see again and we're going to go a bit more So we're probably going to end up about there, just underneath the label. So we clear everything, take out, and to begin with we will tighten this up now. And this will be 11 millimeter. or 7 sixteenths. But everything else will be metric. We tighten it on the can so it can't slip. And we bolt it to the bracket. And slide it where you want it. Tighten these two down. There we go. Alright, now we're going to run our lines. You're going to Cut to length as needed. So the first thing we're going to do 
is run the line to one of the outer ones. Check valve is going to go in line on this, flowing away from the can. Okay. There's an arrow on these, and again, pointing away from the can. And again, no clamps are needed. And we're going to run this under here so it looks more stock. Push locks will stay in place. <clears throat> and that is providing the evacuation when you're accelerating or at high RPMs, wide open throttle. Vapors are going to be coming from this connection and again this is going down underneath make it nice and neat look like it's stock and just get the hose on there now, we're going to add intake manifold. So the first thing we're going to do is put a little grease on the tip here. Savings. And you're going to pick this flat spot right here. Right behind the throttle body itself so you can get at it enough to get a nice clean hole Take our tap and cut into it. Again, about halfway up the tap is all you want to run. And that is a 2964 inch bit for reference. So these are the two areas you're going to be using this tap. sure this doesn't kink down so that stays in place good. We're going to thread this fitting in. Okay, and that'll be the 9 I believe. millimeter. I'm just going to screw that in, not overly tight, just so it's nice and snug. They're tapered threads. Then we're going to do our last one, which again gets check valve in line, flowing away from the can. 
arrow points out, so away from the cam. in with the rest of these and going right on okay so just double check make sure everything's tight in where it goes restrictor must go on the same line that uh, is into the intake manifold itself and that's this little silver Restrictor goes in line on the intake manifold line. Okay, and that's it. And we're going to address the clean side now. So we're going to replace the stock oil cap with this machined base so when you go to put oil in in the future you just give it a turn and pull up and it'll come off so and this is going to connect to this barb right here that was left Going to push it all the way up past and it is going to come around and put the cover back in place make sure this gets cam locked in push this down on we're going to be again going underneath and coming up so it looks as much like it came that way from the factory as possible there we go and that is it it's complete and what you'll do is start it up, make sure you have good strong vacuum at the drain. With it running, place your finger over the drain and open it. You'll feel a good strong suction on there. And make sure none of your lines are leaking and you're in good shape. That's it.